There has been an app blowing up on the internet recently, and that app is called Blue Sky. Blue Sky is basically a Twitter alternative app, and a lot of people have been migrating over to it recently because of recent changes over on X. I myself have migrated over, and honestly, I found it really refreshing. But there is one thing about Blue Sky that I don't think a lot of people know that I want to go over today. And that is the fact that Blue Sky is run off of the blockchain. Now, I know obviously the blockchain has a lot of negative connotations to it, and a lot of people, myself included, is very skeptical whenever I hear the word. But honestly, in this case, I don't think it's that bad of a thing. And I want to explain why. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, ring that bell. It really helps. Now let's jump into it. Blue Sky is a decentralized microblogging social platform created by the company Blue Sky Social. The whole app is a proof of concept for the AT protocol, which is basically to decentralize social networks. Now, if you're like me, as soon as you hear that word decentralized, the first thing you think of is cryptocurrency. And if that's where your mind went, you wouldn't be wrong. Blue Sky was founded on something called the Blue Sky Crypto Protocol. The Blue Sky Crypto Protocol is a decentralized social network protocol organized by Twitter that allows several social networks to interact with other social networks. The then CEO of Twitter, Jack Dorsey, announced the Blue Sky initiative in 2019 on Twitter. So even though Blue Sky is a direct competitor to X, it was actually founded by Twitter. Besides being backed by several current and former Twitter executives, Blue Sky's goals and scope are approved by Twitter. This refers to the applications that are part of the protocol and the goals of Blue Sky. It aims to allow applications to customize their moderation system and make them responsible for compliance and takedown requests. So in the 2019 hype of all the crypto and decentralization, Blue Sky was actually an initiative funded and founded by Twitter executives. It was meant to decentralize social media the same way cryptocurrency is meant to decentralize money. And since it runs on a similar format to cryptocurrency, it is on the blockchain the same way that cryptocurrency is. But even though Blue Sky is on the blockchain, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to use crypto and NFTs and things that we're used to hearing about on the blockchain, right? Right? About a day ago, it was announced that Blue Sky received an influx of $15 million from a company called Blockchain Capital. And we see here they posted on Blue Sky saying, We led Blue Sky's $15 million Series A. We're excited to support Blue Sky in their mission to build an open foundation for the social interest and in giving power back to the users. Now, if we look more at this statement, it says we've been investors in blockchain since 2012 and have seen firsthand how decentralized technologies can reshape entire industries. Social media is no different. Like our financial infrastructure, social networks require a new fundamental infrastructure to power the next generation of products and services. And they announced they're giving Blue Sky $15 million. We then have Jay here, who is the CEO of Blue Sky, saying that they've grown to 13 million users in a year and a half, and that they've raised $15 million from Series A to support their growth. And if we scroll down, it says, with this raise, I'm excited to welcome Kinjal to the board. She shares our vision for a social media ecosystem that empowers users and supports developer freedom. Kinjal, the new hire, says that they first met the CEO of Blue Sky in 2018 at MIT's Bitcoin conference. So as we can see, decentralization, Bitcoin, the blockchain in general, has always been the direction of Blue Sky. And although Jay, the CEO, has said they don't plan on making cryptocurrency or NFTs really part of Blue Sky in any way, it is still slightly concerning seeing that this is all over the place. But is the fact that Blue Sky is on the blockchain really a bad thing? As much as we love to hate cryptocurrencies and the blockchain, they're not inherently bad. There are plenty of people and companies that use this technology to scam others, and that's really where our negative perception of these things come from. But a lot of people, whether you're an individual, a business person, a company, see the merits of having your technology or your social media or your currency decentralized and not controlled by anyone but you. The value of decentralized assets is made by us, you and me, and not by the fact of whether or not we'll sit behind a desk for 40 plus hours a week doing something we don't care about. If done right by the right technology, it can be really good. And I think Blue Sky is a good example of that. On Blue Sky opposed to X, your handle has a domain name after it. It's not just at Pasta TV, it's at Pasta TV. TV.bluesky.social. And the reason for that is it makes it extremely unique to you. Or in other words, your handle on Blue Sky 
is an NFT yeah. and that helps stop bots on this platform and it helps make your account more uniquely yours. Even though this platform was created and funded by Twitter originally, it is now its own unique project with a couple of ex Twitter board members now on the board for Blue Sky. And even though it's on the blockchain, it's not necessarily using cryptocurrency or NFTs in the way that we think about them. But it is still a slight concern that its next big wave of funding came from a cryptocurrency platform and the fact that the board of Blue Sky said that they would invest in crypto. The reason why that is concerning is because we've seen it happen multiple times in the past when a company invests in crypto to try and fund the project and then crypto just crashes and the project dies. One of the biggest projects we talked about where that happened was Candyland. It was a big NFT project and they were supposed to fund this animation and this video game and it never ended up happening because NFTs crashed. They didn't raise a lot of money. They lost all of it, in fact, and then they weren't able to make the project. If Blue Sky invests too heavily in crypto and then it crashes, it could ruin this whole experiment and this whole platform. But considering they are doing a lot of things right and they're garnering a lot of praise, I have a good feeling. Now, Blue Sky is completely free to use, but one other controversial thing they announced recently is they're going to start adding a subscription model. Now, it was noted by the CEO that this $15 a month model would be just to keep ads off the platform. Not that you will get ads if you don't pay, but the people that do pay the $15 a month will help keep ads off the platform for everyone. The CEO said here, quote, this does not change the fact that the Blue Sky app and the AT protocol do not use blockchain or cryptocurrency, and we will not hyper financialize the social experience through tokens, crypto trading, NFTs, etc. So this does kind of ease my mind a bit. They're trying to get people to pay the subscription fee as a type of donation, so they don't have to hyper financialize. They don't have to run ads all over the platform. They don't have to use crypto or tokens or NFTs and any of that. They just need a portion of their user base to pay this monthly fee, which I mean, it makes sense. They need funding from somewhere. But although I do have my doubts and my concerns about blockchain tech and about crypto and about all that stuff, I really do think that Blue Sky is doing this the right way. It's shocking and alarming to hear those buzzwords like Web3 and blockchain and NFTs, but opposed to those projects we've talked about in the past and all those scams that we all know, this is taking the good parts of that technology and using it in a proper way. I personally am excited to see where this goes and to see how this technology evolves, and I never thought that I would say that in my life. Do you use Blue Sky? Did you know it was on the blockchain? And now that you do know, how do you feel about it? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.